Maybe we hurt his feelings. All that stuff we said about him, disappearing for good. We were pretty mean. He deserved it. He was the one who spoilt our disappearing box with all the blood and guts. And Cass never let us take it to Melbourne, thanks to him. You know where else he might be? What's Craig's second favourite hobby besides annoying us? Eating! Food! It's cafe! Let's check it out. Well, there's still some slight swelling. But the good news is the x-rays have come back and there's no sign of a fracture or chipped bones. Excellent. So I can go back to training? No, not so fast. There's ligament damage in there. You go back too soon and you might really cause some damage. These things take time. Well, how much time? I haven't got time. Melbourne's in two weeks. Donna, please. You're going to have to do as Dr Jennings says. But Mum... I'll have another look at you next week. In the meantime, absolutely no training. You're doing great, Charlie. That's it. Keep the legs straight. Terrific. Luke. Luke. Say you knew something about someone. But that someone made you promise not to tell. But you thought it was so important that you thought you had to tell someone. Would you break your promise? What is it, B? What's the matter? It's Alexi. And what about him? Well, I kind of promised. And promised what? What's the matter? If there's something troubling you, tell me. Well, I saw him packing his stuff, but he asked me not to say anything. What? I think he's leaving. And I'm not sure if he's coming back. It's all my fault. Oh, hey, come on, don't be silly. There's probably some perfectly logical explanation. Come on, we'll go check it out. Come on. Nope. No Chanel Craig in the toilets. And Pablo hasn't seen him either. Now, I reckon we will wait here long enough. He'll turn up sooner or later. What if he's not hiding? What if he's run away? Like, really run away? He wouldn't do that, would he? Maybe he believed all that nasty stuff we said about him. Maybe we should tell Kaz, just in case. No way! She'll flip out. She definitely won't let us go to Melbourne. No, he'll turn up. He'll get sick of his little joke sooner or later. All his stuff's gone. His van's not outside. There's no sign of him anywhere. Oh, hold on. Let's not jump to any conclusions. I found this in the workshop. He left it for you. Why all the fuss? What's going on? It's Alexi. He's taken off. What? He's packed up and left. Why would he do that? There must be some mistake. He wouldn't just leave without saying anything. Well, after thinking things over, I've decided it's time for me to move on. My whole heart is with the circus, and to lose that is to lose life itself. I'd rather the kids have memories instead of goodbyes. I hope they'll understand. Well, it seems you're right. It's okay, B. It's okay. But it's all my fault. Hey, you weren't to know. None of us were. But I should have stopped him. Luke's right. There's nothing you could have done. Honest, once Alexi sets his mind to do something, no one can stop him. So what do we do now? I mean, we can't just let him walk out. We've got to find him. OK. He's not at the cafe, nor at the factory. He's not at his home, nor at the river. Where else could he be? I think we should really tell Kaz now. No, she'll get really mad at us. I think we should wait just a little bit longer. But what if he's been kidnapped? Or maybe he'd run away? But the longer we'll leave it, the worse it'll get. We have to tell Kaz, in case something really terrible's happened. I can't believe Alexi would actually pack up and leave without telling anyone. Just before the trip to Melbourne, why would he do that? I'd say the argument over Donna's accident has a lot to do with it. I mean, the parents practically blamed him for it. it must have really hurt him. Hi, guys. So why the sad faces? Well, it's great to see that you missed me, but you can cheer up now I'm back. Alexi's gone. Gone where? What do you mean? He's quit the circus. What? Alexi wouldn't quit. It's no joke, Donna. He's gone. Well, did he say why? I mean, he wouldn't leave for nothing. It was because your mum was really mean to him. Phoebe. She was. She said she wanted him to leave. That's why Kaz wouldn't let him train with us. Look, I know my mum can be a bit over the top, 
She was just worried about safety, that's all. We all have worries about safety, but that's no reason to start blaming Alexi for your accident. She wasn't trying to make him leave. Well, maybe someone should have told him that, because that's sure what it looked like to him. Hey, it's not my fault. And has anyone considered that maybe she had a point? That's not fair, Donna, and you know it. Maybe he should have been paying more attention. We all know the risks when we come to training, and we all know the rules. He should have been watching. It's his job. And maybe none of this would have happened. Well, has he been in to get petrol? OK, well, call me if you see him. Thanks, Tom. Bye. Not now, guys. I'm really busy. But this is important. Well, it's going to have to wait. It's about Craig and us. We've been wondering about the Melbourne trip and about his place in the team. If he doesn't actually go, is that really a problem? Hey, you guys wanted him to go, so he's going, and he's your responsibility. But just say, for example, suddenly Craig couldn't go. And it wasn't anyone's fault. Something happened to him. Something beyond our control. Like what? Um, like he hurt himself, or got sick, or went missing. Right, what is going on? Where is Craig? We're not exactly sure. We can't find him. <gasps> what? We've looked everywhere for him. Oh, what is going on here? First Alexi and now Craig. Are you sure he's not playing one of his tricks on you? Is Alexi missing too? Yes, no, I mean, no, not exactly missing, but... Oh, just check all his usual hiding places. See if you can find him. We've already checked. Well, then go and check again. He can't have just disappeared. Go! it's okay to do that? Oh, I think I know my ankle better than some doctor. Just take things easy. Look, if I was a bit over the top about you taking my routine, I'm sorry, okay? I don't mean to fight with you. I just want things back the way they were. You twisted your ankle the first time you slipped, didn't you? Do you have to keep harping on about that? And you kept training. The one rule was supposed to keep above all others and you ignored it. No, I didn't. Why do you have to keep going on about it? Because if you did hurt yourself and you'd said something about it, then maybe none of this would have happened. Alexi would have pulled you out of training, you wouldn't have twisted your ankle and he wouldn't have copped the blame. You don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of training to catch up on. We've double-checked the cafe, the roadhouse, down the river, his home. No sign of Craig anywhere. OK. What about um, the props room? Underneath the safety nets, in the big trunks? Um, the lost property box? Yes, everywhere. He's gone, Kaz. I do not understand this. What is going on here? Right, that's it. I'm going to have to ring Craig's mum. God, I wish someone would make me disappear. Poor Craig. He's been at least two hours without food. He must be starving by now. Mm, Craig can always busk for pocket money. Mm, he's pretty good at juggling. What if something really terrible has happened? Like he's got picked up by a gang of criminals and forced to rob people and stuff. Yeah, and I've heard about some poor people in some countries who have to sell their body parts to survive, like kidneys and livers and stuff. And it's all our fault. That's enough. Oh, this is just getting absurd. Now I can't find Craig's mum. She's missing as well. This is getting just too freaky. Like aliens abducting everyone. First Craig, then Alexi, now Craig's mum. Um... I want you to think really carefully here. When you noticed that Craig was missing, did you see any sign of Alexi? Nope, just Alexi's van. It was parked out front. OK. Do you think that there's any chance that Craig may have gone with Alexi? No way. Alexi wouldn't want Craig with him. Yeah, driving bonkers. Unless Alexi didn't know that Craig was with him. Now, now think, think. Has Craig ever gotten in Alexi's van? Maybe as a joke or something. Well, there once was a time when he was looking for a magic book.
did you get in there? Oh, well, it's like I was returning a book I borrowed and then um, something fell down from the shelf and hit me on the head and I was knocked out. And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. Really? Unconscious? Yep, knocked out cold. Because I was just standing there and the next moment, splat, I was on the floor. Steve. I'll just be a second, Charlie. Go ahead and do your warm-ups. Look, Steve, I really enjoyed working on the web, but now that Donna's back, well, it is her routine. Well, she's back already. You sure about that? No one's told me anything. Yeah, I just saw her. She said she's okay to start again. Okay, well, I guess if she's been given the all-clear. Look, Steve, I was wondering, um, after Melbourne's over, do you think I could continue with the web? I'd hate to just throw it all away. Yeah, of course. I'll be more than happy to help. Look who's here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Catch you later. See ya, Luke. Yeah, see ya. You OK? Everyone's treating me like I'm a disease or something. They all hate me. It's so unfair. I never wanted Alexi to leave. I mean, just upset and looking for someone to blame, that's all. Well, I feel as bad as anyone else about all this. Worse, even. I didn't want to have the stupid accident. Oh, no. I'm not. What are you doing here? Oh, Mrs. Johnson. Luke, will you talk some sense into her, please? You're supposed to be resting. The doctor said gentle exercise, not training. Do you want to make it worse? No, please. No, no. no arguments. I don't want you down here at the moment. Now, come on. Mum, I can do it. Maybe you should give it a few more days. Darling, if you keep this up, you're going to give yourself a permanent injury. Is that what you want? My ankle feels fine. Besides, I'll be up in the air. I won't be putting any strain on it. Donna, be sensible. You, you can hardly walk on it, let alone train. Oh, I don't understand, Kaz. I told her I didn't want you down here at the moment. I couldn't mind to take this further. Mum, will you stop interfering? It's not Kaz's fault. I beg your pardon. Look, I know you mean well, but it's got nothing to do with Kaz or Alexi. It's my fault. I ignored the rules. Now, come on. Come down and I'll put you in the car. But you don't come understand. On. Everyone hates me because they think that I made Alexi leave. Everything is such a mess and it's all because of me. I have to sort this out. Ah, that's better. Well, now we have to find a way to get you home. I'm, I'm sure they'd be worried about you by now. I doubt it. Jerry and JJ couldn't wait to get rid of me. Do you reckon I could have a hot dog with sauce? Look, I mean, you know, sometimes people say things they don't actually mean. They say things because they're angry, and I know that JJ and Jerry, they care about you. So what are you doing, Alexi? Why are you here? Look, it's, it's kind of business. Go, go get yourself these hot dogs. Thanks, Alexi. The truth is, I twisted my ankle a few days before I really hurt it. I didn't tell Alexi because I was scared that he'd tell me I couldn't go to Melbourne. And when I really heard it, I'm really sorry. I know I should have said something straight away. And you saw all this, did you, Charlie, the first time? No, I told her I was OK. It's all my fault, Kaz. I mean, you know Alexi. If I'd told him, he would have sent me home straight away. Yeah, which would have avoided all of this. Have you heard from him yet? No, we have no idea where he is. You've got to bring him back, Kaz, please. None of this was his fault. But why do you have to go on a business trip now? What about the show? Oh, look, 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 look. How can I explain? Mm. OK. When I was a little boy, growing up in Siberia, it was very cold and life was pretty hard. Anyway, we had two horses. And the only job these two horses had to do was to 
boom the plow. But hang on, you said you grew up in the city, in a place called Moscow. Sometime in Moscow, sometime in the country. Anyway, one day, just before winter, one of these horses couldn't make it. It was too tired and too old and too weak to do the job. So what did you do? Did you have to shoot it? No, there's no shooting. We just let him out in the paddock. And I thought he deserved a break after all these years of hard work and... You know what I'm saying? Mm, so you want to put an old horse in the show? Yeah, an old horse in the show would be a great idea. You know, I think it's time for me to move on. I don't want to go back to the circus. But you can't leave. What will we do without you? What will you do without us? Come on, come on. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. We'll all be fine. There's plenty of things to do. I'll go traveling and uh, lots of things. Does Kaz know? After Donna's accident, she made it pretty clear what she feels about me training you kids. She was pretty angry, huh? She was pretty angry, ha uh -huh. But hang on, didn't you tell me that sometimes people say things they don't mean, like when they're angry? No, no, look, it's different, it's different. Because but that's what you said. I'm gonna get some more tomato sauce for your hot dogs. You know, that was a pretty gutsy thing you did in there. Well, like you said, I should have done it ages ago. I'd listen to my friend. Do you need some help, darling? I'll be out in a sec, Mum. OK. I feel really bad about being so angry with you. I guess the whole Melbourne thing kind of took over. I'm really sorry. You'll be great on the web. I know you will. Thanks. It means a lot to me. I wish you could be there. Hey, maybe we could talk to Kaz and you could come, like, as a trainer. We'd well, have to get past Mum first. Besides, I think I've probably done enough damage already. I think I'd rather lie low for a while. Just give the ankle a chance. Now we've got to get you home. The next bus to Wayama. Alexi, I've been thinking. Yeah. I've decided I don't need the circus. And the other kids don't like me either. So maybe I could go on the road with you. What? Just the two of us together. We could do busking and little shows. Just the two clowns together. No, impossible. You're not coming with me. You're getting on that bus. Fine, I'll just get off on the first stop and I'll hitchhike back here. No. Shouldn't take long. No, you won't. Yes, I will. And who knows what will happen to a little kid like me I'm warning you. Themselves. I'm warning you, Craig. Listen, it's been a very difficult day. OK. All right. Get in the van. Great! So what do we call ourselves? Alexi and Craig or Craig and Alexi? Alexi and Craig. I'm taking you home. No, I don't want to. Listen, listen. Don't make me angry. I mean more angry. You can say what you want, Alexi, but I know you won't mean it because you're angry. Look, I'm counting to three. One. Okay. You talk me into it. Great. So she won't worry. Donna, you got visitors. Uh, actually, it's you we came to see, Mrs. Johnson. It's about oh. Donna. We really wanted to come with us to Melbourne. Yeah. We know she might not be able to perform, but she belongs there with us. Well, I'm really touched, you guys, but I'm not so sure I could handle it. Please, you'd have a good time. You know how nervous I get before a show. You could help me out. I'm really sorry, Charlie, but sitting on the sidelines while everyone else performs. I mean, not just you, but everyone. Especially without Alexi there. But you have to come. I mean... It'd mean a lot if you could. To all of us. Donna. That was Kaz. Seems she's had a call from Craig Marsh. Craig? Is, is he all right? Exceptionally well, actually. And so's Alexi. What? Where is he? Come on. Get in the car and I'll explain on the way. Come on. Okay, off you go. No need keeping the seat warm. I guess this is it then. I guess this is it. Okay, go, you're wasting my petrol. Bye, Alexi. Oh, hang on, my bag, it's in the back. Don't go till I've got it. All right, all right, quick, run. Okay, I'm running. Ow! Craig! Alexi, help! Hey, Craig. Oh, I tripped on something. Hey, listen. Hey, what happened? You, you all right? Can you walk? Oh, it's really hurting. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll be all right. I'll, I'll take you in. 
Okay, here we go. All right. Thanks, Alexi. You can probably put me down now. Mmm, tomato sauce. Pretty neat trick, huh? Thanks, Craig. Good work. Thanks for bringing him back. No worries. It's all got to do with mind power. It's good to see you up and about. How's the ankle? Mm, doctor said I should be back to training in about a month. It would have been sooner if I'd told you the first time I twisted it. The first time? I didn't tell you because I knew you'd tell me to rest it, and you would have been right, but I had to be stubborn. Well, I guess you're not the only one in the world to suffer from the attack of stubbornness. Well, I'd better get going. Um, it looks as though they're short a trainer for the Melbourne show, and I was thinking maybe I could go and give them a hand. What do you think? I think they could do a lot worse. Hell of a lot worse. You look after that ankle. Alexi, we missed you so much. We all did, Alexi. I know I let you down before and I'm really sorry, but will you forgive us? Will you come to Melbourne with us? What do you say? No, listen. If you go, I go. What do you say? I say we take a vote. Who wants Lexi to stay? Alexi! Lexi! 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 Hey. I have to be honest with you. I was getting a little bit sick of that truck stop food. <laughs> Sorry, Craig. We didn't mean to be so horrible to you. Yeah, we won't ever do it again. I promise. Are we still friends? Well, I guess we do work well together. So, when do we start practicing again? I've got some great ideas. Mm.